Yeah, Naini. Yeah, I read this article, yeah. That you did the interview with Curtis Campbell from the Gleaner. Yeah, man. And I agree with everything what the I say. Everything what you say is true. You know, it's from a longer time me I tell Jamaica about copyrights and all them kind of stuff, about reggae and all that. Then, then me no come down the man. He did publish now the CM Gleaner what Curtis Campbell I work, I work for right now, the Daily Gleaner. And it was Claude Mills that did I and I interview. And I showed him the reggae copyrights. And then published it, big spread, in a Sunday paper in a 1998, then published it. I, I mean, you know, the same interview, and Claude Mills wrote it and told them, say, him see the copyright, I'm sure to him. All right? And from them time, they were at about 1998, you know. But from a longer time, we have been telling Jamaica about copyrights. I mean, I tell the youths them, you know, our trench town circles and reggae connection. Because, you know, trench town is the foundation they so. We are sure them and we are educate them. And when Bonnie did write him Wheeler's trilogy, showing the world how the Wheeler's music was stolen by Chris Blackwell and Island Records and how him sell out for him part for millions in a them Blue Mountain conglomerates type of setup, bait and switching. For years we have been talking about that. Peter Tosh, Junior Braithwaite, we, Bunny, Bob, the whole of we. We knew about it and we had talked about it. But me tell the man them about the copyrights. Copyrights is different from what you would have get through royalties if you register your work with performing rights society, like the PRS group right there in England and ASCAP and BMI Broadcast Music in the United States. They only register your work with them and them monitor which radio DJs them and play your music for how them for charge them for the use of your music. But them performing right societies like ASCAP and BMI, them collect the music, the money half of it. And of course, them have to get for them cut out of it before even the artist would have get something out of, from what them collect on behalf of the artist. It's, see, them is kind of like a middleman position, but they are not copyrights. It no, it no show them no, them, them no have our own phone creative copyrighted works. I only have to copyright it and legally own it for own yourself and have a registration certificate from the copyright office. Now, what you have going on, you know, is, is what them call a set of rich man, them want control of world music. All right? And this is a big, big, deeper story, you know. But from longer time, me I tell the youths, them say, protect your works and education. You for educate yourself in a the profession that you involve yourself in. A. All right? You for know who is behind what and how it go. The business of music takes many, many twist and turns, and you have to understand it, which means educate yourself about it, and educate yourself against the pirates, the thieves, and the murderers, them, who is going to try to exploit you, all right? That's how the music and your works will be stolen and pirated if you don't no, no, know how to legally protect on the works. And I come down there, you know, and show Cathy Owens from CVM TV. The same thing, I'm a book, a regular education. 
That's why I word my book, so you know, a reggae education for a healing of the nation. Education for a healing of the nation, you see? So you see what happened now if you know educate yourself in a wagwan. And what you say is it is it is is absolutely true. Look how much people now rub up reggae music and other works of art from Jamaican man them. Change it over and for them way. Even them R and B boys, black boy them, rappers them from the United States where we come down, they come mingle up and pay a man a money for a man tell them certain things and them carry it back in the United States or Canada or England, wherever them come from and them twist it and the man them never know say for them own. Even in the Spanish speaking countries and the other countries them will speak different languages. Change it over in a freedom way. And demand them if you don't know the language. And get people who know the language to interpret it for you. Know. But the key is for you know, our own on legal copyrighted works under the Bern Convention, B E R N E Convention, which them same reggae pirates and music pirates now with them billions of dollars. I try to kick out the Bern Convention and introduce for them Trans Pacific. Partnership agreement, the TPP, for change for them thing and to control things that all the money will come to them. It's a big story, a deeper story, and I've been warning the man them from a longer time for years because we spotted a come long time. That's why we copyrighted reggae in the world, and you have some people them from foreign. I tell other people say. We never have the copyrights, but you see me post the copyright online. You look for Rascado videos or anything with Rascado name. Look for it on Google and you will see a copy of the copyrights what me have for creating reggae. Because them same people they used to tell people, say, me never have the copyrights for creating reggae. And you see it? And me keep it and make them go and talk. And now me put it online. And all of them I keep quiet. So you see what I mean? Bunny wrote his will as trilogy. Because him did know the same situation I was going. And him did know. Boy, me I tell you. If Bunny was still alive. If him never passed out last year. In a 2021. Bunny would have shake him head. And I can't talk and I talk to I right now because the same thing we discuss if Peter was around, if Junior Braithwaite was around. But you see, when Peter start talk about him rights, them send money in him house for kill him off. Jamaica, Jamaica was definitely short sighted. But you know why? Them no one get trench town man, them no credit. Them no one. The world for no see a trench town reggae music originated from and come out of them no want people for no say a trench town man them. Them man them no used to take things out of my books and I put in a for them books and I sell it. I me call them name out. Yeah man. Cause of them same people there. One reggae for dead and one for control reggae. It's a, it's a group of them you know. It's a retinue of dangerous musical murderers and conglomerates, you know, who intend to control all world music except the Muslim music, where them never dare to touch. All right? I tell you that. The story is very, very big. So me understand, and I've been telling you, know, from a longer time of burgeoning. Yeah, man, it hurts for no for see it come to this. And Jamaica never do things long time ago. All right, for protect the rights of the artists, them, and the entertainment people. Can you imagine that? And a long time we are tell them, because me I tell you, me come down, they come tell them, Ian Boyne may pass away from JBC TV profile. 
Him not say the same thing and say the same thing. Kathy Owens from CVM TV. Me do interview with them on Jamaica's major television network. They may even publish it and them Jamaica Daily Gleaner. The same place where Curtis Campbell, yeah, Gleaner writer. I do your interview and I publish it at the Gleaner. At the same place, them looking at the Gleaner files right now, them receipt. 1998. Them, you know, they tell them about copyrights long time. Long, long time. And I warn them. And I tell them. And, and you see what happened. You see what happened. Boy. Mr. Leroy Sibbles and all them other man. There. And look how much man them. Look how much of them creative works has been stolen. First, those works what we share with Bob Marley and a whole heap of trench town man them sang them. What me and Judah Bretwit and the whole of we, Cherry and the whole of we, used to sing and rehearse with them in the yard even before them go studio and some of them we got to studio with. Well, what the system does, it kill off some of them man them. Who them think wise enough for know certain things. Alright, because in a Jamaica, you know, them say, dead man tell no tales. Them want to silence you because them, them see wearing, even though you might come out of trench town, you, you might be intelligent and know certain. Then when Chris Blackwell see Bob Peter and Bunny, them approach him, the first thing that come in my mind and him say it, is that they were nobody. They were nobody, which means, say, uh, them is lower than a cockroach where a man would have walked upon and crushed with him foot. No respect, total disrespect. And so them end up a thief up the music. All right? Bunny wrote about it in his Wheeler's trilogy, Murder, Robbery, Conspiracy. Oh, no, should I know who was the major thief them? All right? And who is the fault of the whole thing? Rastafari know everything you say is true, all this. And Leroy Sibbles. It's a sadness, man. And it hurts. Rastafari know.